Hi guys, so you might have heard that Farrow and Ball have launched some new paint colours and I managed to get my hands on one of the press packs so I'm going to go through each colour and tell you exactly what I think and do a little mini review here on my YouTube channel. So there's nine new colours in total, some are quite neutral and some are slightly more bold. There's also a little canvas in the pack with a moth illustration on so I'm going to have a go at painting this and then I think there's an app that you can download and does something with it, so I'll give that a try. So although Farrow and Ball do have quite a wide selection of colours to pick from, it's not like there's crazy loads of them, as in some brands of paint you'll go and look and then there's so many that you just can't make your mind up. Um, so when they do release new colours, it's actually really exciting, especially if you're a big fan of Farrow and Ball because they don't do new colours that often. So you probably already know that Farrow and Ball paint is slightly higher priced when it comes to paint, but from using it in my own home, I can fully vouch for the fact that you definitely get what you pay for. So the walls behind me, I only actually needed to use one coat of the Farrow and Ball paint, whereas if I was using a slightly cheaper brand of paint, I'd probably have to do at least two coats. So there's not many people that get really excited about white paint, but sadly I am one of them. And in this collection, there's some really nice neutrals to pick from. So there's definitely a move towards warmer colours in interiors at the moment, and this goes for neutrals too. So we've got the Schoolhouse White. This is a slightly warmer off-white tone. So this is definitely a great base colour for your walls if you're looking to move away from something that's not the brilliant white and you just want something that's a little bit more sophisticated. So next up from the collection is Jitney, which is my personal favourite. Um, we're definitely seeing neutrals move more along to this kind of colour, which is a slightly more taupey tone. This colour would be perfect paired with Schoolhouse White. I think you could use it in a room to pick out details such as skirting boards, doors or anything you like really. So yeah, that is definitely my personal favourite. So the next one up is Treron, I think that's how you say it. Um, so green is still a really big trend at the moment, but this is perfect if you just want something that is slightly more subtle. So this is a much more neutral, greyish colour green. Pink is definitely a trend that's going nowhere anytime soon, and in the new collection there's two different pinks which are very different. First up is Sulkin Room Pink, which probably could actually convince me to use this in my own home, even though I'm not the biggest pink fan, um, but this is just a really nice neutral shade of pink I'd say. And then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum you've got Rangwali, that's another one that I don't really know how you say it, um, but this is a very vibrant, bold pink, slightly too in your face for me, but there's going to be people that will love this. Another one from the collection is Bancha, I think that's how you say it. This is quite a saturated olive green, I'd say. Um, it's kind of giving me mid-century vibes, but I quite like that. So yeah, like this one. Dark interiors are also really big at the moment, and one of Farron Ball's most popular colours is Raylins, which is a real pitch black. So this new black, Payne Black, is a slightly different take on it. It's got a sort of reddy purple undertone to it, but it's still perfect for a really dramatic look. Next up is Denims, if that's how you say it, definitely not making it easy for myself today. Uh, this is a much more denim -y blue colour I'd say, which is probably where it gets its name from. Um, it's not too bold of a blue, so it's definitely going to be a crowd pleaser I think. So lastly is Preference Red. This is a really deep, dark, rich colour. The interesting thing with the reds and the oranges is that they're popping up throughout the year, whereas usually these kinds of shades would be autumnal colours. Okay, so that's all of the nine colours, and I'm going to have a go at painting this moth on the canvas. Don't judge me if I go outside the lines. So thanks for watching, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and also comment below and let me know what you thought of the collection and what your favourite brand of paint is.